Hi, welcome to my first YouTube video, finally. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time, but every time I try to like get into it and start making videos, something bad happens, so that was all 2019, so hopefully nothing else bad that's like that bad as 2019 happens in 2020. Let's hope for the best. Uh, today I've decided to film a makeup look and talk as well. I'm sick by the way so if I sound funny if I start like dying in the middle it's because I'm sick. Uh, yeah let's start with the makeup look. I'm gonna start with moisturizing with this Petrogena Hydro Boost water gel and I'm gonna let it dry a little bit because I don't want it to smudge my makeup. So I'm then gonna go in with my Dior Skin um, Nude Skin Glowing Makeup Foundation thing, I don't know. Then I don't really go in with the concealer, I just fill in my eyebrows because for me that's the most essential part of my makeup look. I could go out and just have my eyebrows done and not have anything else on because I feel so naked and weird without my eyebrows filled in. <coughs> I'm already dying. I always do like a mix of the actual pencil with uh, the brush. So I think I'll just skip the part where I do my eyebrows and I'll skip to when they're actually done. So, yeah. So when I'm actually done with filling them in, I like to clean them up with concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because it's one of my favorite ones to use ever. Um, I have the Fenty one, but it's like too much coverage for me sometimes, and I don't usually want that much coverage on a daily basis. So I go for something a bit lighter because it looks more natural, and I don't feel like it's necessary to use full coverage on a daily basis unless you're like going to an event or something. I look insane. And then I just put no I like normally put concealer where I usually put it. I'm gonna blend everything in. So now that I'm done concealing all my horrible, horrible dark spots and acne, um I'm gonna bronze a little bit. So a lot of people have been asking me um, what I do to stay in shape or like keep fit. I actually don't do anything. I'm not, I don't mean to sound like, oh my god, I'm like amazing, I don't work out or anything. No, I, I don't work out because I'm lazy. Uh, that's, that's the thing. I, I don't do anything at all because I'm lazy and that's a problem and usually in summer I'm more active in that department. Um, but in winter I just become this really lazy human being I, I I don't even it's bad I do try to keep my diet a bit more healthy and it's hard sometimes because I'm rarely ever home I'm always out and about with my friends or like I don't know I, I just never stay home so it's hard to keep to stay healthy and oh I forgot to tell you guys I bronzed with the hula bronzer I forgot to mention that. I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Blush if I can. It's in the shade Work with an E. I'm gonna do use some of that on my cheeks. That's a lot. That's enough blush for me because I put way, way, way too much for my liking. The thing is, Kylie Jenner likes to use a lot of blush and looks nice on her, but if I do that, I'm gonna look like an actual clown. But I forgot to set in my eyebrows with Vaseline, so I'm gonna just use some of that, just normal Vaseline. It just makes my hair strands stand up a little bit and look more natural and blended. So what I was saying was, I don't work out that much, and I'm trying to work out. But I have just been binge eating a lot this winter. I have gained weight. It's a good thing and a bad thing. It's, it's a good thing because I wanted to gain weight. And it's a bad thing because 
I've always been a certain weight and I've never gone above that weight in my entire life so when I exceeded that weight I kind of just went a bit paranoid because I was scared that I was gaining too much weight and I didn't but like I used to get made fun of for being thin and being like unhealthily thin like there's a good thin and there is the unhealthy thing. I was the unhealthy thing to a lot of people. My parents were okay with it, I was okay with it, but listening to people constantly say, oh my god, you're so thin, it's like, oh my, it's like, do you not gain weight? It's such a bad thing, and like, stuff like that, and it's just, it was sad for me for a while because there's a lot of clothes on me that I would like to look good in and fit in well, and it wouldn't fit me well, and I just felt sad for myself because I, I didn't understand why that was happening. I'm gonna do a little pinky look today. I'm just gonna talk and do my makeup at the same time. I'm gonna use the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'm gonna start with Burnt Orange, a mix of Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna, and use both of them together as a base. So what I was saying was, I got made fun of my, of my weight a lot from both guys and girls, and I was in a part like in a stage of my life where i was just not happy with my body it's like everyone kind of faces like criticism i faced it for something i cannot control i don't think anyone like myself or suffering from the same thing should be shamed or should be made fun of like just just don't don't comment on anyone's body in front of them and make them feel bad about it just because you think it's funny. I feel like it should be spoken about more often, especially in our society, because people judge and it sucks, but that's how it is. And you have to deal with judgment in a positive way because if you don't deal with it in a positive way, you're not going to be able to survive. I don't do anything to keep in shape. I'm not in shape. I'm just I was, I'm like that, so, I don't know, I don't, I mean, I wish I could tell you a helpful tip, but just watch your food and make sure you're eating a healthy amount of everything, don't eat too much junk food because you're gonna feel bad about yourself later on, you're gonna feel bad, like, I always feel guilty after eating McDonald's like two days in a row, I feel guilty, like, I feel like I'm putting in rubbish inside my body and, and it makes me feel bad, but it's McDonald's just takes, tastes so good. That's a problem, but I try to not think of McDonald's. So I'm gonna take Love Letter, which is this one, and I'm gonna put that. So moving on to a more lighthearted topic. Top Shop just closed in Cairo Festival, and that makes me very sad because I love shopping there. But here's a secret. There's a top shop in Debenhams and they still sell like the new stuff and everything but just in smaller amounts. Not in smaller amounts, it's like smaller quantity. Smaller, a smaller selection from the actual store. And right next to it there's Miss Selfridge and it's like, like a bigger section than top shop. So if you guys are looking for fancy dresses and like formal stuff you'll find in both, I guess. The worst thing about living here as someone who loves fashion, you don't have a huge variety of stores that you can get from. So you have like the normal Zara, Bershka, Pull&Bear, Topshop, H&M, various, all that. And you have like the more high, higher price things. So like you have Calvin Klein and Nike and Adidas and Le Levi's and all that, so you have them, but then you don't have things like Forever 21, you don't have Brandy Melville, you don't have Urban Outfitters, and you don't have all that stuff. Sometimes I find myself wearing something and then someone else will be wearing the exact same like top or something, which is, I'm fine with it, but I wish we had more things to choose from. Also, I'm using the same combination of the brown shades in my lower lash line. I wish we had more of a variety of clothes and stores to pick from so that we can have more 
options and different styles as well. Like there's so many stores we're missing out on as well, which makes me sad because I I'm, I don't travel much. I only travel like one entire year, and that's summer. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 35F palette. I'm gonna use purple shades. I know the store so well because I go there almost every day and I know everything like all the, the stuff that they're selling I just get bored because I want new styles I'm gonna put that on my entire eyelid and then I'm gonna use this shade and put it in the center and then I'm gonna take an angled fluffy brush I got this from H&M by the way it was like a while ago I'm gonna put that in the inner corner like the sides I'm not gonna put too much because I don't want to look crazy um what I was saying I wish we had more stores especially Sephora I mean I know so many people who would buy makeup products from Sephora because you have like the high-end products and the normal priced stuff like the the normal you know Maybelline do they have Maybelline I'm not sure I think they do like you have like the huge range of price points for everything like you have all types of brands the high end and the normal ones and everything so I don't understand why we don't have it I will spend all my money without a question in Sephora because I love makeup I'm gonna I forgot I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Mega Volume Collagen whatever it's called this is one of my favorite mascaras by the way wow my voice is actually go like this is one of my favorite mascaras this is like my second bottle in a few months because i i love it so much it makes my eyelashes look very like there's a huge difference and it doesn't make them clumpy and it just makes them longer and i don't want them to look more like i don't want more volume i just want them longer and separated and this basically does that so I'm very happy with it. I keep getting mascara on the sides, it's insane. I'm gonna put some of my lower lashes. I love mascara, it's, it's honestly a blessing. They're this, it's like, yeah. Then I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi Highlighter. It's one of my favorites ever. It's very natural and glowy and I, I love it. Like it's one of my favorites. I don't want something that's like so shiny to the point where you can see that I have highlighter on. This is more like subtle and like glowy. It looks very nice. Fun fact, I got this not knowing that it was a new release and I just randomly picked it from Sephora. I was like scrolling through the application looking for makeup to order at my aunt's in America. So I got it and I didn't know that it was new, like a new ABH collaboration with Amrezi and I didn't know that Amrezi was a person. I just randomly thought, wow this looks pretty, I'll, I'll just get it and then later, like a few months later, I realized it was an actual person and it was a, well I can't talk, That's, wow. And it was an actual collaboration with an actual person. I just thought it was the name of the highlighter. <laughs> and for my lips. The MAC, I still have it in the box. I find that it protects my makeup. My house was set on fire last year and most or like all of my makeup products survived because I had them in their boxes. So here's a tip. Don't take your makeup out of their boxes. And it keeps them clean. So uh, This is the shade Twig. Uh, 824. I picked this up at the airport on my way back from Greece last summer and it's very pretty. So that's it for the makeup look. It's pink, very pink and kind of purple. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to be doing more videos and please let me know if you guys want me to talk about anything in my other, like my future videos. So there's like this video idea that I have, I might be filming very soon. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do it because it's basically gonna be a get ready with me for my cousin's wedding and I'm wearing like this really pretty dress and going all out with my makeup and my hair will be done and all of that so I don't know if I'll have time to do it on that day because it's gonna be chaotic so we'll see how that goes let me know what you would want me to to do next 
I already have a few ideas and I'm gonna do them for sure. Yeah, if you guys have more ideas, please let me know. Leave a like on the video and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. I'll see you very soon. Bye!